paradiddle diddle. The paradiddle diddle is one of my favorite rudiments because it has a lot of potential for being used on the drum set. It's very similar to the double paradiddle because it's a paradiddle with six strokes, but instead of having four singles and a double, it has two singles and two doubles. So it sounds like this. Right, left, right, right, left, left. I'll play it from slow to fast and then talk about the mechanics. So let's see what the leading hand, in this case the right hand, is really doing. I'll play the left hand on my leg. So I'm playing a double stroke, and then on the up stroke I have a bounce, which is much easier to do than playing everything in one position. And it's making me stiff. Where? As I, if I use the bounce that I get from the downstroke, then I go back up and let the stick bounce again, I'm playing actually the swing pattern. Not only am I playing the swing pattern, but the stick is swinging, like a seesaw. So this mechanical concept that I understood, you know, some years ago, really changed my life because it got me to a point where I was playing more like this. It was fast, but the notes were kind of, you know, choked and tight to playing like this. You hear the difference? Just the right hand. In the first case, which I see many drummers and many, many students, everything, once again, is done, is played only thinking about this part of the stick, without paying attention to the back side and to this, you know, pendulum effect. You can clearly see it in the hands of Buddy Rich, for instance. Or if you notice, you know, the Weckl's hands, when he, you know, attack the drums, he many times he's doing this, not this, because he's using the back part of the hand and of the stick in order to be looser, you know. When I go real fast, the fingers do what the hand was doing before, they open and close. Open, close, up, down, open, close. The stick goes up and it goes down. Left hand lead. Down and up, down and up. See how I go underneath the drum? The pad in this case. It's not, you know, like this parallel all the way through. It has two sides. One last comment, when I do this, the swing pattern is actually exactly the same mechanic and number of notes that I would do if I play the Muller triplet. It's just a different rhythm, different spacing between the notes. This is a triplet, down, tap, up. This is the swing pattern. 
down, tap up, down, tap up, down, tap up, down, tap up. So it's really the same action. <laughs> 